cool spread set up for you guys today. So these guys represent to me what I think of as the truck of the store in Barber County wine making. Uh, passionate, young, dedicated people uh, who fortunately are into a vineyard source that's ours. Um, so we'll be tasting through Earth Storm, uh, Storm Wines, Kevin Law, Luminous, and Lucid. Um, Rick Hill, Labyrinth, and, and Peter running us through some Presque wine. So, um, what I love about working with these guys is their dedication and their passion and their commitment to Presque Hill Vineyard, uh, among other sources. And Rick, uh, especially made in a, in, a, in a balanced style like this. Uh, so, you know, when, when it comes to winemaking, you have to think of, of ways to, to not take away from that, that kind of spicy uh, element, but, but what's going to add to it. So uh, this Sauvignon Blanc was fermented in uh, neutral oak. Amazing to be able to compare the differences by just quarter mile. The vineyards next door are totally different. There's a little more clay. Um, your sugars run away from you a lot quicker. And uh, this, this little site here is kind of like hydroponic with the sand. You can really fine tune your water and you the water and it responds quicker. So one is kind of that sort of plus that lime, citrus flavor, and then you have three that comes in the water, so it's like three with the green apple, and then you go to say five or six, and you can start to develop more, um, you know, white peach, uh, so fruit characters, and then by the time you get to nine ten, you're in trouble. Speaking, even though the wines in themselves are, are very good, it was obviously a little warmer vintage than, than 12, uh, and even warmer than 11, um, so the preceding vintages tended to show slightly more of a cool weather, uh, Sauvignon Blanc notes as, as uh, Ernst showed with a little bit of that greenish cut grass thing going on.